Okay, so a few of you sent me this JavaScript quiz and said it's absolutely impossible to get all of the questions right. So let's try it out, see what we can get correct, and if we can learn something new along the way as well. So the first question, do you know what will be the output of this code? Console log 018 minus 015. Okay, so I believe if you start with a zero, the number becomes base eight. What is that? I guess octal is probably what that's called. So we have an octal number. 1-8, but the digits that are valid in octal, I think are just 0 through 7, right? In the same way that like base 10 is 0 through 9. So the highest valid digit is the base minus 1. So I don't know what it's going to do if it's not a valid number. I would assume it's either NAN or just converts it back to decimal and it just becomes 18. So this is either NAN or 18. Then we have minus 0, 1, 5. So this is going to be an actual valid octal number. So we have 5 plus 8 essentially. So 8 in or a 1 in the 8's place and 5 in the 1's place. So 8 plus 5 is 13. So this is 13. This is either 18 or NAN. My guess would be it's probably 18 because NAN is sort of a last resort and there's something else that sort of makes sense here. So I would assume JavaScript makes this 18. So let's go with 18 minus 13, which would be five. Cool, that is correct. If we look at this, so leading zero is an octal number. We were correct about that. And let's see, 018 can't actually be an octal number. So it does this and it just treats it as 18 and then 015 becomes 13. So 18 minus 13 is five. Awesome. Okay, next type of type of one. Okay, so I think we're going to essentially go right to left here and we have type of one, which is going to be number, but like as a string. And then we have type of the string number, which is going to be a string. So it's going to return the string of string. So I guess they want string here. Cool, that looks to be correct too. So yeah, the string of string and it's right to left. Type of one is going to be string of number. Type of number is string. Awesome. Next up, numbers 33 to eight, sort the numbers, return numbers at one, which is the middle number. So the middle of these sorted is eight. Although when you sort numbers using the default sort, or when you sort anything with default sort, it's going to, I think, convert it to a string first. So we're actually sorting strings and the string of 33 is less than the string of eight. So I think 33 is actually the middlemost number here and it is. So let's see the explanation. So this is a valid array. Sure, array sort needs to make a decision on how to handle the scenarios and it decides to convert all values to strings. Okay, so we were correct about this. We have this array of strings and we end up with two, 33, eight as strings. Okay, next up, false is loosely equal to the string of zero. Okay, so I believe what it's going to do here is coerce both of these values into numbers. So false as a number is zero and zero as a number is also zero, which would give us zero equals zero, which would be true. That is correct. So let's see, false equals zero, and we convert false into a number. So zero is zero. Then we have this converted to a number as well. So then zero equals zero, which is true. Awesome. Next up, 0.1 plus 0.2 equals 0.3. Okay, so this is one of those fun questions that people talk about a lot as like a quirk of JavaScript. Like a lot of people will point to this exact example as to why JavaScript is such a bad language, but actually this has nothing to do with JavaScript at all. It's actually a quirk of floating point arithmetic and you'll see the exact same results in a ton of different languages. But essentially the issue here is that floating point arithmetic is not super precise. So 0.1 plus 0.2 is going to be like 0.3 zero, 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 a bunch of zeros, and then like one, two, or three, or something like that. So these numbers aren't exactly the same. So this is going to be false, and it is false. And we can see, yep, 0.1 plus 0.2 is this number here with a four at the end. So they are not actually equal. And yeah, so it's not a JavaScript quirk. It has to do with floating point arithmetic, exactly what we said. Okay, next up, what will be the output of this code? Array one, two, three, array at six is nine log array at five. Okay, so this is like out of bounds for the array, but unlike Java where you'd get like an index out of bounds error in JavaScript, all we do is just 
extend the array and add that value in. And we get these sort of like empty slots, I think is how it shows it if you like log it out in the Chrome DevTools. So we just have a bunch of empty slots and we're logging out one of those empty slots, which I assume just gives you undefined. So let's go with undefined. Yeah, so it does give you undefined. And let's see, so here it shows the array just with undefined in it. I know in the actual dev tools, it'll show it as empty slots. I don't know how it's actually handled under the hood. It might just be undefined, but either way, I guess you do get undefined when you log those out. All right, next up, is true equals true double equals array? Is false equals true double equals not array? And then log is true plus is false. Okay, so true is loosely equal to an array. I believe here we're going to coerce both values to a number. So true is going to be one and an empty array is zero, I would assume. So one equals zero is going to be false. And then we have true equals not array. So first we do not array. So this is going to convert it to a Boolean and then invert it. So I would assume, I think an empty array is going to be truthy, I would imagine, although it's empty, which could make it falsy, but I'm pretty sure all arrays are truthy. So true, and then it becomes false when you invert it. So now we have true loosely equals false, which is false. So I believe this is false and this is also false. So now we have false plus false, which would be zero plus zero essentially. So we have zero. Correct. Okay, let's see, did we actually do that correctly or did we just get lucky? So we have the first parameter is a Boolean. The following rule applies. If type X is a Boolean, return the result of the comparison uh, to number equals Y. So yeah, we are converting to numbers essentially. So number true equals number array. And we end up with uh, one loosely equals zero, which is going to be false. And then we have this one down here, an empty array is truthy. So we convert it and negate it and it becomes false. So true equals false. So they're both false. And then false plus false, we convert both to numbers, which are both zero and we get zero. Okay, that was a difficult one. Next up, we have one plus the string of two plus the string of two. Okay, so I would imagine this is just 12 plus two is 122 as a string. What are the other answers? We're definitely not getting NAN because we're either just doing addition or concatenation. I don't think there's a way to get NAN here. 32, I guess, would be if we treated this as numbers. So this would be three, and then we concatenate three plus this two. But I, I don't understand why that would be the case. I think if there's a string in it, we just do string concatenation. So this is going to be, I think, 122. Yeah, 122. The plus is defined for numbers and strings, and the expression is evaluated from left to right. So it's going to handle this as one plus two. And since the right side contains a string, concatenation will be made, which results in 12. And then we do 12 plus two is 122. Okay, next up we have console.log string.raw hello Twitter backslash in world. Okay, so. I'll be honest, I don't know what string.raw does. I feel like I've seen this before, but I, yeah, I don't actually know what it does. So we have hello Twitter backslash in, okay, so this is the same thing as just what's already in there. And then we have the backslash in, which is the new line character being used as a new line. And then we have hello Twitter space world, so new line converting to a space for some reason, which maybe is the answer. Maybe it ends up sort of like HTML rules where all spaces get condensed into a single space, no matter how much space it is, like new lines and things. And then we have hello space Twitter space world. I don't know how there would possibly be a space here. Like I can't think of any way that string.raw would know to do that. So I think this is wrong. So it's one of these three. This one feels too easy. Like Hello Twitter new line world is like what you'd expect. And I know this quiz is supposed to be hard. So I feel like it's either this one or this one. Raw feels like it could go by like HTML rules. So let's go with this one. Okay, so that was wrong. It was the first one. So let's see what this actually does. Okay, so it takes a template literal and processes substitutions, but it ignores well-known escape sequences. Okay, so it ignores the backslash in. 
So it just prints out what we gave it. Okay, so here's an example. String.raw var1 is hey, var2 is there. So we include hey there, but the backslash t and backslash in, which is tab and new line, just get left in. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this actually used. Like I think I've seen it in like documentation somewhere, but I'm curious if anybody's actually used this before. Like if you have a use case, what it is, because I can't think of why I would need this, but either way, kind of interesting. Learned something new today. And final question, what's going to be the output of this? This is a string instance of string. Interesting. So clearly that is a string, which makes me want to put true, but let's see instance of string. So instance of what it actually does is it looks up the prototype chain. So it looks to see is this object like above whatever this value is in the prototype chain. But this is a string literal. So I don't think you can actually like do that. Like I don't think it's going to be an instance of the string object. So I think to get true here, you would actually have to use like the string constructor. But when you just use a literal like this, I think you might actually get false. So I'm going to go with false, although I'm not 100% sure. Okay, yeah, it is false. Let's see, okay, yeah. So if it was a string literal, you would get the result you expected at the beginning, which I guess is assuming you expected it to be true. But what it does is it checks if the string constructor is nested within the prototype chain of the value provided. In this case, it isn't. Okay, yep, so that's sort of what we thought. So we got it right. All right, so overall got a nine out of 10, got one question wrong, and we learned some new stuff. So I would call this a success. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and how you did on this quiz as well. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.